Hello, hi there beautiful Taurians. This is your monthly love horoscope for the month of March. So if you're watching me live, do say hey, hi and hello as I uh, connect with my spirit guides to um, see what are the themes that come up for your um, love reading for this month. Sorry, I cleansed myself of the last energy, took a phone call and then that phone call was rather annoying and I'm trying to get rid of that energy also too before I do your reading. So if you are there, say hey, hi and hello. So anyway, as before, I'm just going to crack on while I'm connected with my guides to see what the themes are when it comes to um, love, when it comes to Taurians. Now, the first thing they want to say, and this is just a thing, I say it's just, it's quite a big thing. Firstly, for those Taurians who actually are looking to get pregnant this month, it's like that. If you're a Taurian who does not want to get pregnant or want to get anybody else pregnant, then you need to be careful in this month. Just saying, all right? Use precaution, as they say. Mummy's spoken. Right, that was just a little thing they added in. Now, the bigger picture when it comes to... Um, I've not got to Virgos yet, so we'll, I will do, we'll do. This is for your moon, sun and rising as well, also. Hello. So, yours is deep, I think. The energy starts off a bit deep, where they're kind of showing you... Like you've got a big a bit of disassociation going on in your energy when it comes to a connection or con or romantic connections in general. The way they give it to me, and this feels very much for those who have a connection that's been bothering them or in a connection, but again, apply it how it suits you. Again, flip this around because this could be how you see somebody else, but they're showing you as disassociating in your head, slightly rose-tinted glasses, fantastical thinking, looking at the positive only, not really looking at what's going wrong, slightly deliberately. They're showing, they're basically showing you like walking like on a tightrope with, with your mobile phone in your hand <laughs> and you're looking at TikTok and you're not looking, you know, you're on this tightrope you know, they're, what they're using circuses. But this type rope isn't like on the ground. It's like high up in the sky. <laughs> and you're on your phone as you're walking along this kind of type, type rope. Not paying attention that if you're, you know, you put your foot somewhere in the wrong place, you're going to fall to your death a little bit. And they're saying that's kind of the kind of level of disassociation that you're kind of currently having when it comes to romance and love. And in particular with the energy of somebody that you are thinking about, that's either you want or you're with. Now that is quite deep for me because what it's kind of telling me is that you're ignoring something that's a problem. You know, if, if you're ignoring something that actually one false move, one one thing that's done or said wrong, one thing that, um, you know, you, if you were to snap into reality and start answering proper questions or start to see the real truth in the, in the scenario, then actually you could, it could lead to problems for yourself or to heartache for yourself. And then, then Spirit is sort of saying to me, because there's like some inner, that it's, it's easier for you to do that it's easier for you to disassociate it's easier for you to just keep the peace it's easier for you to walk on eggshells it's easier for you to just not pay attention to the reality of the situation just to keep the peace or just to keep the relationship or just to keep sane right now it's it's it, it keeps you out of your head so even if i interpret this in terms of like let's say you're waiting for somebody to come back but if I think about it, it causes me too much pain. It, it makes me upset. So actually, I'm just not going to think about it. I'm going to hope for the best. And I'm just going to put myself in a little bubble. And I'm just not going to think about it. Because thinking about it hurts. Now, the danger with both, both of those kind of scenarios is if you're waiting on somebody or single and you're disconnecting in that way, is that you're not healing. You will cause yourself some mental health issues. You, you know, burying it, trying to compartmentalise it, this pushes it down. It will bubble up one way or another. It always does. 
And if it's the other scenario, where actually you're in a relationship where there's some sort of deep problems, discontent, they're cheating on you, there's some toxic behaviours, there's abuse, there's whatever. Bad patterns. And you're in fairyland, basically, not addressing them, it will, it will, it will, it will. I don't even need to be psychic to tell you that it will grab up and bite you in the bum. Or worse. So I think this reading for Taurians really only applies to those that are in not very content situations. I think for the Taurians that are in content ones, and your only problem is worrying about being pregnant. <laughs> that's, that's, the, that's the contrast, yeah? Again, the theme is, because I always notice every month there's a theme. The theme very much is, if you're waiting to be rescued, but this time from the mind, you have to do it yourself and it means basically in order for you to do that you have to confront the the way it's making you feel you have to confront that your needs aren't getting met you have to confront that you're hurting you have to confront you have to turn that phone off and start to pay attention that you're walking on a tightrope right now and that's scary because i think if you was to focus on the very scary thing that you're doing you're thinking oh, i'm going to panic and i'll fall off instead of like nope just take one step at a time and i'll get to the other side and then i'm safe in a way spirit is saying you need to do the inner work for you to be safe in order for firstly yourself let alone self-love but for the vibrations to change because you can't address what needs to be changed with yourself let alone another person or what you get unless you do that you have to face it you can't keep disassociating from it that's pretty much how it's been shown you have to rescue yourself yeah you cannot be afraid that if you speak up or say something that you'll lose because i feel like you're already losing yourself losing your mind you're losing yourself so you already have lost so I think you need to see it as what have I got to lose if I don't do this? Your sanity, yeah? Your happiness. I want you to be a little bit like Aries. For those of you who saw the previous one about Aries, Aries had a mindset which was very, very much about, well, bollocks to this. It's all about me. If somebody wants me, they're going to have to give me balance but also they need to prove it to me kind of energy they need to be putting in the effort i want you as taurians to really adapt that kind of attitude but i think that there's something about your confidence or the lack of confidence which i find quite strange when it comes to taurian energy that you're in that place so they're saying if you can do that in this month because I can only say for this month, you could take six months to get to this place. But if you could, the sooner the better, because again, I'm going to be saying it all year, this is the energy about when we end those old negative cycles, the universe opens door for us. It will align us to what we want, yeah? And suppressing yourself and being in la-la land. So an example of that will be, I'm going to pretend I've got no problems. I'm just going to manifest all the good things and just not worry about my inner child i'm not going to worry about my shadow work i'm just going to focus on the good stuff only the universe will always manifest what we want but it will take us kicking and screaming through our shadow stuff in order to get us to the right vibration you cannot do it by disassociating you can't cheat <laughs> yeah yeah it's my dog <laughs> that's the snoring he's right he's right here it's like right here and he's uh snoring he's like told you anyone who knows me my dog is always right up my bum and he's always snoring loudly i'm getting to all the signs i switch off so i, I after a while i don't hear it because i'm listening to other stuff if that makes sense so he's adorable when he had a haircut so he's looking all, he's looking all handsome <laughs> so sorry that distracted me let me get back in to where i was speaking yeah, because they're saying here, again, very similarly, I mean, personally, the energy for some of you guys is so, like, it concerns me that who, if you are attached to somebody, whether they're past or present, and is making you feel like this, 
I don't know if they're good for you, <laughs> is the energy I'm kind of getting. But ultimately, what they're kind of saying is if you can speak up, do the right thing, move on, walk away, whatever it is for your personal circumstances, but for you, take that Aries energy, put yourself first, but beyond first, you know, kind of that bitch energy, <laughs> you know, definitely be... But, you know, it, you know, I never have to say to some signs, like, be a little bit conceited, but there's a little bit where I'm like, yeah, for maybe a month you should be, because it's not your normal way of being. Put yourself first, highly. Then you'll start to work yourself towards a vibrational shift that will align you with better outcomes. Basically, my guides are saying, for those where the love is true, for those where the... Um, the person is meant to remain, they will step their game up because they will realise it. And so they will make the efforts, yeah? And, and it will become very clear, they're saying, that for those who are not meant for you, they will not make the effort, yeah? That doesn't mean you should default back to being on the tightrope. It means that you should just keep walking on until you are vibrationally matched with who is. Not even gonna allow you to be on a tightrope, yeah? More importantly, what they're saying is it will bring you mental stability. It will ground you. I mean, God, you're the kings and queens of being grounded. You're not. Yeah, that's why I feel like I'm reading for non-Taureans, because you don't feel like you're very much in your Taurian energy. And so, more importantly, they're saying, yes, you can be aligned to love and all that good stuff, but actually this is about self-love, love of the mind, bringing your stability back bringing that inner peace back so that when you are sitting with your thoughts that you're afraid to sit with right now, you won't be afraid because you would have gone through them. You would have sorted it out and understood your worth, understood what's right for you, what's not right for you. So, when you ask, how do you do this? It's, the thing is, it's, it's, it's facing it. You need to see it like a mirror that you've been avoiding because you know it's gonna be painful. You know, you have to make decisions that your higher self's been telling you to do, but you don't want to do. Yeah, it's that inner work. We always, we always want to avoid pain. Our ego jumps in because the ego's job is to protect us from harm. And the brain doesn't know the difference between physical pain and emotional pain. Yeah. So when we have to do something which is like, I'm going to cause myself pain. I'd rather they do it. Why would I cause myself pain? By dragging myself out of this toxic situation. But actually, it's not pain for you. It will feel painful. It's like having a wax. <laughs> yeah? You know, it's going to hurt, but then you're smooth. <laughs> yeah? You need to see it like that. So the way you do it is you've got to... You've got you to gotta face it. Yeah? I'm full of analogies. Got one coming up my bum. So I'm going to pull just a couple of cards just to clarify what my spirit guides have said. See if there's any extra messages. Yeah. Thank you, my lovely. Trisha Day. Trisha Today. I already did Pisces. Don't worry, so I've been saving this, but I've been doing one at a time. So those of you who missed them earlier, I will be uploading them to YouTube, I think. Because <laughs> me and YouTube aren't friends at the moment. Which is weird, because if I post this, it's gonna hear, they're going to hear me say that, but who cares? Um, <laughs> but when I tell you, to load a video on YouTube takes me hours. It takes hours and I'm a Sagittarius. I ain't got no patience for that. Like I've got patience for people, but I ain't got patience for YouTube. I ain't got patience for queuing. I ain't got, I ain't got patience for that. Like it fills me with dread. Hence why I was like, you know what, this month, do I want to put myself through that? Do I want to just try and do it live and have it done? TikTok saves it straight away. If I load it, or I load it somewhere else. When it comes to YouTube, I sit there dreading, thinking this is going to be five, six, seven hours of my life, my soul being sucked out of me. <laughs> so, <laughs> I, just, I just, like, it makes me not want to do them. So, thank you very much, my dear. It's, uh, that's my new pendant, my my angel wing. It's like a, like a feather. But, uh, yeah. Right, let's pull this last card because I'm procrastinating and I need to get to other signs. So let's see if there's any extra messages. So this is the wish card, but this wish card is different because, again, this is the after tarot. Because you see how this, there's a person serving the other. So the wish card can be really positive. It means your wishes will come true. 
so general the general message there is you know again based on what i've just said if you can trust yourself put yourself through your the hard work to clear the clutter from your mind to not be afraid anymore you'll walk towards your wishes but the importance of this particular card coming out means it's, it's highlighting though because when you are serving others guess what you are only making other people's wishes come true and not your own and no wonder you feel stuck no wonder you feel like you're ignoring everything yeah so time to do it for yourself then your wishes will come true and you'll start doing it for everybody else yeah i am yeah today i am so unfortunately aquarius is you'll be last sorry but i thought i had to st start uh, the uh, energy that we're in currently so again the world card great card you've got two really good cards here you know considering after what i've just said and how deep i've been with my suit guys you've got cards basically just confirming that if you want to change your world around you you are the key firstly but when you do oh my god will it turn around will it turn around so that your wishes come true you know apply this to all areas of your life i know i'm talking about love but this is for all areas of your life if you've been disassociating because of work if you've been disassociating because of family deal with it deal with it get into that inner work you know if you can't do it by yourself do it with somebody else there are plenty of ther therapists life coach healers like you know do it journal do whatever you need do it soon <laughs> You know, do it while all the planets are direct. Do it. Because your whole world will change and your wishes will come true. Stop serving others and making their worlds come true. Stop making other people their, you know, your world. Make you your world. Because then that battle that you have in your mind that you've been ignoring and dissociating from will go away. Simple as that. Simple as that. She says simple. I know it's a dog. Everybody, if you know, the dog snoring, always snores, always snoring. Mr. Darcy, I don't want to pick him up because he's also looking very cute. <laughs> I was going to pick him up a set and show you to him, but um, yeah, he's here. I just have to give him a stroke every now and then to stop him snoring. Anyway, gorgeous people, I will be back in a minute with the next Stein so I can save this video. And uh, uh, give me a minute to get rid of that Taurian energy, but I hope that's been helpful and I will see you all again.